thick. No. Medic, what is wrong with them doing it? I'm recording! I don't know what it is, but like, what is... Hello everyone, today I'm back with a new segment on my channel. Um, I think I'm going to call it Sneaker Talk with Ish or Talking Sneakers with Aisha, Talking Sneakers with, I with Ish, I don't know. Let me know which one you like better or just Sneaker Talk, Sneaker Chat, Sneaker Chat, what is today? Tuesday, Sneaker Chat Tuesday, not quite sure yet, but um, I have a little note here. I have my notes and stuff jotted down on it and I'm looking kind of down at my phone just to make sure I'm in frame and also to keep track of different things. Basically with this segment, it's going to be um, a, a talk about different things going on like in the sneaker community, um, sneaker releases, upcoming um, events, different things like that that I think people should know about, different apps, different websites where I kind of go to to get shoes. And basically, like my process to buying shoes and different things, nice. kind of collect shoes, kind of connect, collect sneakers and different things like that. I have for some years now, been into shoes and sneakers since I was like in elementary school. I've since graduated college like, over two years ago. So, yeah, I'm 24 now. So it's been a good chunk of good chunk of my life. First thing that I want to talk about is different cleaning products. And today I have three right here for you as you can see well yeah okay so I'm gonna start off with the smallest and work my way up right here I have the Jason Mark quick wipes and it's basically like you know like any kind of wipe that's in a um, pre-packaged look square little packaging thing and this is what they are um, I haven't opened this one up it's there's three of them that comes in here and it's like um it says dual texture shoe cleaning wipe with raised dots for extra cleaning wipe and they're disposable after you use them basically i'm not going to try to give a rundown of each of these products because i may have a separate video coming up on them but i was just going to touch on them because i ordered them from villa and i got them for such a great deal now i don't know if they're still available because i ordered this back in what August in August so no mid August so I'm not sure if they're available but I did get these for like three dollars so basically a dollar a wipe which is good for a cleaning wipe and Jason Mark if you are familiar with the brand is not that cheap um, I'm not really quite sure how much the big package costs but I did just get the, these right here because I have tried this brand before and it works pretty decent um, they were three dollars and some change and the next thing I'm going to talk about is the Crepper Tech here. And with this base, it's like a little cleaning system. I got the um, travel one. I got my brother to get me this for, I think, Christmas or my birthday, part of my gift. But this is what's inside. And what you basically do, I've used this one time. What you basically do is, with the brush that it comes with, you dip the brush in warm water. Then you put this cleaning solution on top of the brush then you dip the brush back in the water then you clean the shoe and this is basically the um, just a little um, cloth that comes with it to clean and it also comes with a booklet with instructions and also this is the what comes what it comes wrapped in and it has on the inside you can't really see it it has different um, instructions on it so I mean, it's kind of self-explanatory, but if you're an instructions type of person, then yeah, you, I guess you could read it. But I like this little case. It's mostly for traveling. Of course, the actual Crepitec is more bigger in a bigger container. And then the third thing I want to touch on is this Force Field Athletic Care Kit here. Um, they have little instructions on the back. This is actually has not actually not been open because I have yet to use it. So if you use this or anything let me know down below what you think about it like i said i'm going to do a more in-depth video on these cleaning products i'm just kind of trying to let you touch on different subjects in the sneaker chat and this is actually regularly twenty dollars i got mine for 
ten dollars so half the price i ordered both of these together from villa and it was like ten dollars and some change so i thought it was a pretty good deal i'm not really sure um if they're still available but they may be so i wouldn't be against checking it out i want to talk about like my recent sneaker pickups i did a video a back to school video so you all should all check it out on like my purchases so far this year these are just going to be two purchases i've made within the last month or anything first is going to be this champion these champion slides um this is how it looks and these were i'm not sure if they were like a uk release but i got them off asos which is like a uk based website but they ship to the us as well and this is how they look if you follow me on social media you've already seen these It's just how it looks. And I really like them. Um, I've tried them on. They're very comfy. These. This is them together. Right here. These are called the Champion White Pool Sliders. And they did have other colors. They had, um, I think they had navy. I heard it was like um, almost all navy all over. Not just on the, um, the strap of it. Like this part right here was navy also. And they may have had red or all white. I'm not 100% sure. So I'll leave a link though. So just look in the description box. Next is another pair of Vans. Which is like becoming my favorite shoe brand. It's crazy because like there's already like two more pair that I want. And I have. How many pair do I have now? One, two. So this will be my third pair of shoes. I have Vans slides I think. But um, already it's Labor Day. I left them tied and everything because I just kind of, I was rushing to take them off. So, but yeah, they've been worn once. You can't really tell because I keep my shoes pretty clean. But these are just the low top um, old school vans. They retail for $59.95, so $60. I got them at Zoomies. Um, you can basically get them at any type of skate store type of place like Zoomius, PacSun, Tilly's, things like that. Um, I chose I chose Zoomius because it was the closest to me. Also, um, this is a six and a half men, eight women. Everyone has, but I figured I should have them also. What I'm gonna do is each topic I hit on, a picture is gonna like come up a, but on the screen before each topic I like hit on. So um. First thing I kind of want to touch on are the Meyer Moore teens. So, um, and I actually, I'm looking down at my phone just so I can not give any incorrect information. White, pink, and gray. You know, white, pink, and gray, the Air Jordan teens is a player exclusive cup player exclusive colorway i think they come out this saturday so yeah i am kind of excited about them yeah they come out every they release on the 16th look at the app unlaced and they kind of sometimes they post on their like where they're going to release or check out like sneakernews.com nice kicks kicks on fire is that so yeah 23 yeah 23 is back all, all of those websites and you should be covered on release date information I basically, I, I kind of like them. Um, I'm not like a huge fan of teens. I do like teens. Um, I own a decent amount of pair, probably four or five pairs of teens. But I haven't really caught any in, it's been a good minute, probably since college. Uh, I don't want to say that, but it's been a good minute since, since I've caught teens. They haven't really been releasing any like that, though. Or have they? And I just, well, I know they had like the Hornet teens and. They did, uh, yeah, I didn't like this city pack. I didn't really fool with any of those. But, um, yeah, um, I kind of like them. I'm a huge pink fan, so any shoe of pink in the kind of always gets the thumbs up from me. But in this case, I'm not really sure, like, if I'm going to run and cop them or not. Um, it's kind of how I felt about the Serena's, um, the Serena ones. I like them, like, but... A pink, black, and white Jordan, pink, pink, white, and gray Jordan. I'm just like, and eh. back in high school, I would have been like, oh, I gotta get it, I gotta get it. But now I'm just kind of like, I'm way more selective in the things that I purchase and 
like stuff i like a lot of things i just let sit until they get cheaper unless i really think it's gonna sell out i think the maya morris they may sell out but um i mean if they do they'll restock everything restocks right i personally feel like they could have been a little more pink but maybe it's just me keep a release face for stuff I don't plan on to get and this is my thing I love the flex colorway like I love wheat I love the whole the whole thing the whole all wheat shoes to all flex colored shoes that is not what I have an issue with what I kind of have an issue with is like okay yeah these just released well like a year or two ago and they're already getting the treatment for re-releasing I kind of feel like it's a bit rushed just for the simple fact that honestly I feel like I go I still don't get the 2015 pair now in a store in grade school I think I can have I ch tested the theory no but I mean it's possible I know they like did sell out and it was one of those shoes that they were kind of like sitting a little bit on shelves then all of a sudden like somebody wore them or somebody posted them or something and then they all just like rushed off shelves or, shelves or whatever I think I can still get them though I, it's not really many shoes that I don't think I can get if I really put my mind to it, I mean, I've been, have I have a good track record with tracking down shoes or getting somebody else to track them down for me. So I don't think I have yet to grab that. I just been on a pair of Yeezys, and it's not because I can't get them. It's just because I refuse to pay thousand plus dollars for some Adidas. I mean, they're not designer shoes. They're treated as designer shoes, but they aren't designer shoes. So I mean. And then the whole Kanye, eh, I feel indifferent about it. I do. So I'm just not, not the video for that topic, but I'm not, I don't know. I know how I feel about grabbing Yeezys now. It's just sunk in place. That's what I say. But okay, so yeah, I do like the, the Flex Forces. I think it's cool. I actually saw someone post about like, why are they releasing mid top? I mean, high top. I think they were releasing in mid top. It's like, wait, what? Um, <laughs> like, I didn't know people like mid top forces. I thought it was like low top, then you get high top, and that was the only only ones that you cop. Like nobody cops mid top forces. At least I never did. And the crazy thing is, I don't really even rock. Well, I don't rock forces now. But back in high school, forces, Nike Dunks. Air Max 90s, just Air Maxes, Nike, like, I was all Nike, like, I didn't even really touch other brands like that. My, me expanding to other brands kind of began, like, in 2000, what, 13, 12 or something. That's why I kind of started experimenting with other things besides Jordan and Nike. But, yeah, before that, yeah, it was, it was a no. But, yeah, it's just crazy because I don't really fool with forces and stuff like that now. And I just really think it's because... The culture changes, sneaker culture changes, and it also depends on the region you're in. Like, probably in, like, New York, they're all about, like, the uptowns and, you know, Chicago, different areas like that. Like, every, I feel like every region has, like, their shoe. And, I mean, I'm, like, located close to Memphis, and I know, like, a lot of people in Memphis are kind of getting back into the Air Force One wave, but it's not really, it's not really my thing yet. Not to say that it's been some, it's been some like real decent dope forces colorways. And I'm like, maybe I should mess with them, but I don't really know. Then another thing, forces used to be like uncomfortable. Like they weren't that much of a comfortable shoe. Then the sizing, like I haven't bought them in years. Like sometimes they would fit too big. Sometimes they fit too small. Then the wrinkling of the, the toe box. It's, it's a lot. <laughs> I can go on and on about them, but um, yeah, I'm I'm a, I'm kind of I'm a fan of the colorway definitely. Am I a fan of them being released so quick? Not really. I am a fan of the the all wheat flex, whatever you want to call it. Um, gray school thirteens. I'm not sure when they released, but I'm, I I kind of dig them. I need more of a finalized picture though. You now when they come out with like the prototype pictures, you can't really can't really go off of those because then the the final pic is supposed to be like. That shoe don't look nothing like it looked on the first picture. Or they done tweaked something. But I'm a fan of those and the Pippin.
the um, airs of Tempo Airs. Yeah. Sheesh. That's all I can say. Those right there. Let me see. Do I have them on? I don't think I have them up on my phone. But, um, yeah, those right there. That may make me come out of retirement as far as even buying any Pippins because I just feel like they're doing way too much with all these million colorways, a different colorway every other week, every week, or two releasing in the same week. It's doing way too much. Not really a fan of it. I, it's not to say that the colorways are ugly. Like I, I dig the Tiffany blue colorway, but I, did, I just haven't copped them. I mean, maybe if they go on a good enough sale for me, I will, but I don't really know. Also, I just feel like you got to give people a break with certain stuff. You can't oversaturate the market with anything. And I kind of feel like this is because it's an Adidas Nike competition thing going on, which because Nike is kind of feeling the wave of Adidas more. But, um, and they kind of feel like they got to, they got to be one step ahead. They got to keep releasing stuff and it's doing too much. That's why everything is not selling out anymore, which I just, I love the aspect of how the sneaker game has kind of, change in a sense where everything went from selling out everybody was hype beast everything everything was just going crazy and stuff now it's kind of selling down back to a good point where okay now i feel like yeah i'm 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 good with trying to like get shoes and stuff because at one point i was just kind of over it. it was like everything i was trying to do you either had to go through a raffle or you had to try to pay overly high prices for stuff and I was just kind of over it like I was really letting things sit I wasn't really into like oh I gotta grab this or that like it was like probably like four or five shoes that I'd be like okay yeah I'm, get, I'm gonna get this this month three months later because it was just doing too much and they were taking the fun out of getting, getting shoes period because shoes wasn't like sneakers and stuff anyway it wasn't a thing where you had to be rich to cop shoes because you would have such a big break in between of being able to buy stuff now it's kind of like oh you gotta have money like you gotta really you gotta really be getting some checks some money to be able to even compete anymore like they is that's the biggest thing they've made it a competition when it used to just be something fun to do like if you like shoes you got shoes now it's like i don't even really mess with shoes but just because everybody else is getting shoes i'm gonna get them too now these i don't i don't wear joints i don't wear shoes but i gotta have those i'm just like come on like really but Oh, Katie and Curry, Under Armour, Nike conversation. I'm going to keep this real brief. I thought what Katie said was kind of true. Um, kids or teenagers coming up or looking to try to be a basketball player, just looking at shoes in general, are not going to be like, oh, I want to be signed to Under Armour. Oh, I want to be... I want to work with them like it's not too too many people and I really don't think like he was saying the coming to be shady or anything I think he was giving his real deal perspective on it and Curry you know Curry disagreed but at the end of the day like you gotta ride with who signed you you gotta ride with you know your name and different things like who's rocking any Curry's like that unless you're probably another athlete or somebody that's just really into basketball because I'm pretty sure they like are good for like athletic purposes but most most of the time nowadays people want a shoe that they can cross over between lifestyle athletic or just whatever purpose you're buying a shoe for dressing the shoe up so but um I do like it that they're both like not afraid to voice, voice their opinions even though they are on the same team now but I thought it was kind of interesting it's not like a huge topic or anything but yeah uh Air Max 98, which I want a pair. I want a pair. Um, I think it's like this year's like the 20th anniversary. Oh, and it stopped my recording. <sighs> no one calls me when I'm not recording a video. It's just, it's ridiculous. Every time, it never fails. But first, I did the whole new release of them with like the Supreme collab. And obviously, I wasn't trying to cop a Supreme collab because it's hyped up. It's going to sell out. Majority of them are anyway. And people are just going to get them just to say, I, I got them. And it's going to sell solely based off that it has Supreme attached to it. Anything that has Supreme, Champion, yeah, it's going to sell out. But Thrasher now, it's going to sell out. But um, 
yeah I'm a, I like the MX 90s I just like Air Maxes period I'm trying to get more into them I'm trying to get more 95s 97s um 90s I used to love 90s but I haven't really seen any Air Max 90s that have like like I want them I want some Air Max Plus I want some Air Max 120s like yeah I want I want some Air Max and <laughs> I need to get my life together and cop some in a reasonable price but um yeah I'm all for the MX 98s um I like those I do like those the so last thing are phones phone posits Nike phone posits Am I the only one that feels like they should just stop releasing them? Or they should just give them a break or something? Because I saw, I think it's a Halloween kids color. Coming up, you know, it's October about to come in. I'm just like, yeah, no one really, I don't know about it wears phones anymore. Like, if you're rocking phones, like, bruh. It's a no. It's a no for me, dog. But, um, yeah, what are your thoughts on those? Do you, are you still into phones? I'm not personally. At one point, I did want a good amount of phones that came out and stuff. I ended up copying, like, the NYX colorway. I remember I wanted those gone fishing phones. Too much feeling, though, phone thing. Another thing, they're not that comfortable. I don't know if it's just the kids pair, but they are not that comfortable to me. And then, also... How they do a lot of shoes with the men's pair of shoes that look way better than the kids and they use the same materials. And I'm not a fan of that. Y'all need to stop doing it. Just because you have a smaller foot doesn't mean you don't want nice quality shoes. P.S.A. Okay, last thing I'm going to talk about is the Public School New York P.S.N.Y. Jordan 15s that just came out what's like two days ago, three days ago. Or just released or whatever. Oh my god, who are these people messaging me? Crazies. Okay. I love 15s. Like, I don't own a pair of 15s yet. But I love them. I love 15s. I want a pair. That's, some, that's like some joints that I need to get. I got some 14s, but I, I don't know where they are. But I want to get a cup, pair of 14s, 15s. Um, they came out in like a black color and they had an olive green color that was like a women's shoe. And I thought about getting them. I mean, I still may. I still may. But I just wish they did the shoe all. All of them doing shoes. All monochromatic. All one color. Like, I'm definitely a fan of doing it. I'm not quite sure why. Like, it's, it's like a thing that's not done that often but I think it should be done all the time but yeah I definitely like the olive green ones and 15s what are your thoughts on them they came out on the 10th I think today it's like the what 11 12 or something okay that wraps up this video I hope you all enjoyed it let me know how you like this series this sneaker talk series do you want me to keep going do you think that maybe it's not my league I don't know I think it's my league but um let me know and suggestions on videos video topics um i had planned to like go over release dates and stuff but i want this video to kind of be like short so yeah um check out the unlaced app check out nice kicks like i said um 23 is back different release websites like this sneaker kicks kicks on fire nitro delicious extra butter i'm reading out for this right now stickers and stuff foot locker finish line sneaker heads sneaker files so I'm going to list some things below that I think you will be interested in and let me know. Always remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit thumbs up on this video, um, turn on your bell notification so you can get a notification every time I upload a video, share this with others, and thank you for watching.